In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to control the Equator VST plugin inside of Cubase with your Rolly instrument. We'll need to start by opening up Rolly dashboard. Let's first verify the following. MPE is on. Global channel is set to 1. MIDI start channel is set to 2 and MIDI end channel is set to 16. Both glide and slide tracking and press tracking are set to last played. And finally, your pitch bend range is set to 48. If you're using a Seaboard block, setting up your parameters in Rolly Dashboard will look very similar to the Rises process. If you're using a Lightpad M, you'll want to select an app that best suits your setup. In this case, I'll select the Note Grid app. This will provide us with a scale-based LED playing surface that you can use to control your Equator VST. Now that Cubase is open, go to the top of the screen and select Project, Add Track, and Instrument. In the box labeled No VST Instrument, open the drop-down menu, select Equator, and click Add Track. This will open up the Equator VST plugin window, where you'll have full control over your presets and parameters and will look just like Equator Standalone. If you close this window, you can always go to your Equator Instrument track and select the Edit Instrument button. This will reopen the Equator window. You'll now want to go into the Inspector and change all MIDI inputs to your Rolly instrument. In this case, we're using a Rise. Then, change the channel to Any. The next thing you'll want to do is ensure that Equator's plugins MIDI settings match your settings in Rolly Dashboard. This is important even when using Equator standalone and can cause symptoms such as missed notes or incorrect pitch bend if settings are mismatched. All that's left to do is set up Cubase's note expression. This will allow you to edit any recorded data by note expression in the key editor. First, open up the inspector and scroll down to open up note expression. In the list of available parameters, you'll need to select pitch bend for glide and aftertouch for press. CC74, or brightness, often needs to be added manually. Select the CC icon and open up the MIDI controller setup. Scroll through the parameters in the hidden list and assign CC74 brightness to the visible list. Click OK, go back to the note expression parameters and select the newly visible CC74. Lastly, be sure that MIDI as note expression is checked. Once you've done this, you'll be good to go. All that's left to do is arm your track, press record, and play. Oh, 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 o